welcome back to another weekly vlog. It is Monday and it's an absolutely stunning day today. So my plan is as follows. I've so far been to Pilates, I've just had breakfast. It's now 10 o'clock and I'm gonna spend the next few hours editing a real TikTok that I filmed yesterday. Sid and I had a lovely little afternoon in Manly yesterday and I documented that. So I need to put that together because as I also mentioned in last week's vlog, I'm really trying to be more proactive and consistent with my short form content. I can kind of do one or the other, it seems. Like I go through phases of being really consistent with YouTube, for example, and therefore not as consistent with short form content or really consistent with short form content and not as consistent with YouTube. So I need to find some sort of happy medium where I can do both and not burn out and do them both well. So also on that note, if you have any requests for short form content, then please let me know. It's a great opportunity for me to talk more in depth about specific topics. So if there's any specific topics you wanna know about my new job, or a new apartment, then let me know because I feel like so much has happened in the last few weeks that I don't even know where to start with the short form content. And then this afternoon, I'm definitely gonna get out and enjoy the weather. I'm just debating whether I go somewhere new and explore a different area or I go to one of my favorite places. But either way, I think I'm gonna head to a beach. In case anybody was interested, I thought I'd actually talk you through my workflow for when I create these little mini vlogs that I do on TikTok and Instagram because I probably don't do it in the order that you expect. So the first thing that I do is I write out a script for my voiceover. This is often something I've already got in mind when I'm filming. I kind of already know the message that I wanna give and the story that I wanna tell. So when I'm filming, I know what to film. But then the first stage, I guess, of putting it all together is actually writing that out into words. My next step is then to record the voiceover on Premiere Pro. And only after I've finished the voiceover do I then actually import the clips and order them. And I just prefer doing it that way because then I can match the clips to what I'm saying in the voiceover. And it also ensures that a good story is being told in the voiceover. I used to just freestyle voiceovers. Like I'd put the clips together in a random order and then voice over it. But I found that doing it that way meant that the voiceover was very much, and then I do this, and then I do this, which just doesn't have the same flow as if you've thought about it in a storytelling manner. I don't know if any of that makes sense, but that's the way I do it. And because my two roles involve content creation, I thought I'd maybe start sharing some more tips and tricks. to the very imaginative conclusion that I'm just gonna go back to Manly because I was editing my video earlier and I was looking at the clips of the water at Shelley Beach specifically, that's where I'm gonna go. And all I wanted to do was swim in that water again because it's the most perfect crystal clear water. And it's so hot today that I just wanna go for a nice swim. Also, we didn't actually spend that much time on Shelly Beach because Sid's not much of a beach person. Whereas I could honestly just lie on a beach for 
hours. Reading, I'm gonna bring my journal as well. Listening to music, going for a swim. I just love it. Open air, side by side we sway there in all the colors. literally just got ready and then it's so hot that you just feel like everything is melting back off your face that is me right now anyway hello it is tuesday today so far i have been to pilates and then this morning i spent a few hours trying to arrange the logistics of moving out of this flat because i have to move out by sunday this week so i was emailing the current landlord the next landlord i've been texting the estate agent freya because sid is away at the moment i don't know if i've mentioned that or not yet so i'm doing the move in on my own he's already moved the stuff that he hasn't taken away with him into the new flat because the new landlord is so lovely and allowed us to do that so i don't have to drag sid's stuff around with me because there's a four day gap between our lease on this place ending and the new lease starting. So in that time, I'm gonna go and stay with my friend Freya. And because Sid's stuff is already at the new place, it means that all I need to do is pack up my remaining stuff in this apartment, take it to Freya's, and then take it to the new flat four days later. I don't know if any of that made sense, but that's the situation. And because I have so much back and forth next week, I'm actually not gonna be vlogging. So pre-warning, there's gonna be no weekly vlog next week. Sid's away on a business trip. I can't say where because it will spoil their marketing plan, but it's a very exciting trip. And I'm not going with him because that's his work stuff and I've got my work stuff now in Sydney. So it's just gonna be me this week. This afternoon, I'm gonna head into the center because at about four, I'm meeting a girl after her work for drinks. She came to a little brunch event that I organized a few weeks ago i don't know if i mentioned that either but in the same group chat as the coastal walk i organized a brunch event which happened a few weekends ago now and i met her there and i'm meeting her again today after she finishes work and just a bit beforehand i'm gonna go around some of the shops because i want to buy a pair of work shoes because at the moment i've just been wearing my adidas sambas to work which is fine because it's a very chill office no one cares that I'm wearing trainers. That's very much the vibe of what everyone else is wearing. But I've got my first work event coming up next week. I've got a lunch with a client <laughs> and I feel like trainers aren't the vibe for a client lunch. Not that I've ever been to one, but I'm just thinking I need to put a bit more effort into my outfit. And I also don't think it will hurt to have another pair of shoes that I can wear to work. I'm thinking some nice flats, maybe a pointed toe because I've really been liking the look of pointed toe. So I've made a list of some shops that I'm going to go around and 
we'll see what we find. I'm wearing the linen trousers that I had tailored last week. I picked them up on Friday, I think, and I was so worried that I was gonna have the opposite problem and they were gonna be too short, but I actually think they're the perfect length now. Like, they still pull around my feet, they still reach my feet, but I'm not stepping on them at all. Like, they literally hit the ground perfectly, at least in these shoes anyway. So I'm so pleased about that and I feel like it's opened up a whole world of possibilities because most of the time if trousers are too long I just won't buy them but with a pair like this that are just such good quality fit me so well around the waist I'm just really glad that I made the effort and the investment to get them tailored because these are literally the perfect pair of trousers now. So I'm heading into work. My priority today is doing a shot list for a shoot that we've got next week because it needs to be approved and sent over to the client for approval by tomorrow. <laughs> it's not too many videos though, so it hopefully shouldn't take me too long. So if I also have time today, I wanna get started filming some TikToks for the agency's TikTok because that's a responsibility that they want me to take on. So over the weekend and the last few days, I've been saving some TikToks that I've seen that I think we could do. And I guess I'm gonna pitch them today and see if I've got any volunteers to do them. Oh my God, I nearly forgot to show you my new shoes, the result of my shoe shop yesterday. So my final decision was between the beige ballet flat type shoes from Joe Mercer and these, well, I've just spoiled it. <laughs> and these silver ones from Tony Bianco. The beige ballet flats were definitely the more practical option. They were very comfy, would go with anything. But these are just so fun and cool. It was not my intention to get silver shoes at all. I actually went into Tony Bianco wanting the creamy white version of these and they didn't have them in my size. So the shop assistant brought these out because it was the only colorway that they had in my size so I could at least see if they fit and I put them on and I was like hold on I actually really like the silver I think they look really cool so yeah this is what I ended up going with they are a tiny bit big for me so I've put some heel inserts in just to hold my foot in place because I did try the half size down but that's too small. This is how they look with the rest of my work outfit today. I've just got this t-shirt on from ASOS and my usual black trousers, but they just add such a little fun element to the outfit. And it kind of looks like I've got heels on with the points, but obviously they're flat. So very happy with this investment.
The last two days at work have absolutely flown by. The days went so quickly, hence why I completely forgot to film anything. I've been working on three different shot lists for upcoming shoots. I've edited so many TikToks and Reels, and I also produced two TikToks for the marketing agencies, TikTok as well. So there's been a lot of planning, filming, editing, everything has been going on the last two days. Yesterday evening, I also went with a few other members of the team to a soft launch of a new Mexican restaurant who is a client of ours. So that was super fun to have my first kind of work event, I guess. It was some nice bonding time with the team and it was just cool to see it in action, I guess, like the venue in action, because I know that there's been a lot of effort behind the scenes to get to this point. I did manage to film a day in the life yesterday for TikTok. So even though I've been massively slacking in terms of the vlog this week, there is gonna be an in-depth TikTok and reel up at some point where I'm sure I'll talk more about my responsibilities and how my day-to-day -day looks like. So make sure you follow me over there and also on Instagram. I have such a hectic weekend coming up now. I think I already explained this at the start of the vlog, but basically today I need to edit this vlog. Then this evening I need to get started on packing up all of my stuff in this apartment and getting ready to take it to the new apartment. The landlord is very kindly letting me drop some stuff off, but I've got to do it at 10.30 tomorrow morning. So I basically need to do it this evening and early tomorrow morning. And then I'm moving into Freya's on Sunday, but she can only pick me up before she has work on the Sunday, meaning I need to be ready to leave this apartment fully by 8.30 on Sunday. So there's some quick turnarounds this weekend and definitely some early starts. And I'm therefore gonna end this video here. I really hope that you've enjoyed this vlog and if you have, make sure to subscribe for upcoming vlogs. As I said earlier this week, there's not gonna be a vlog next week just because of how hectic everything is, but after that, they will definitely resume and I will be in the new flat. So that's gonna be very exciting. I'm really looking forward to decorating a bit, making it my own. So I'll see you then, bye.